In this video, we're going to see how we can use InfoWars WS Pro to simulate the impact of a burst. A brake picker allows the user to choose the pipe in the network and specify the type of burst. So here we have a pressure dependent burst from an orifice of 50 mm. The change is applied to the control object and we can commit the change to save it to the master database. At that point we can specify a new run, make sure that we update the control to the latest, which include the pipe break, and start to look at some of the results. We can always compare subversion for the same version control object to see what difference have occurred. So in here we can see the break in version 6. Once the run is completed, we can start to look at some of the results. For example, pressure at the hydrant. For this hydrant, we also have telemetry, which is the green line, which does not include the brake. So we can see what's the impact of the brake. We can also perform some other analysis, like tracing upstream and see the consequence of the burst at the service reservoir. So again, simply specify the parameter that we want to graph and we can see how the burst is causing the drain on that specific reservoir. We can open another result set from another projection just by opening as an alternate result for comparison. At this point in time we can query the same graph but including the result from the different result sets. So the green line and the blue line are the simulation result before and after the break. The best way to assess the consequence of a burst, however, is by visually displaying the difference that are occurring throughout the network. And we can do that by using a contour built on a SQL query. So in here, for example, we are specifying the parameter that we want to plot, simulation 2 and simulation 1, pressure, minimum pressure. The software will automatically work out what's the difference between the two um, result set and then we can start to specify how we want to create the contour, apply different color, apply different visibility. So in here we have a clear uh, definition of which are the areas that are more affected by the break. And again we can continue to zoom in and, and look at the result at a specific point location like we're doing here.